Greetings and salutations, everyone. Jake Vegas here, and today we're going to cover some popular questions regarding the upcoming free-to-play fishing game aptly titled Pro Fishing, including when the beta will be released. I know a lot of people are looking forward to this game, including myself, so let's see what the developers have to say. With that said, let's get right into the Q&A. Now, all the answers in this video come directly from the developer news feed, and I'll have a link to that news feed in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. So, the first question asked was, how many languages will be in game? And the developer's response is that in the beta version, there will be two languages available, English and Polish, but on the release day, the game will support over 10 languages. What those 10 languages will be were not specified. The next question is, what is the leveling system? And the answer, the player receives experience and money for each caught fish. The more experience the player gains, the higher player level will be. Levels are necessary to unlock equipment and other things. Now, those of us who are Fishing Planet veterans should be very familiar with this type of leveling system. Now on to the third question. So, in Facebook video, we can see two fishing technique, float and spining, but I'm sure he meant spinning. Is there bottom fishing? The answer, unfortunately at this moment, the developers only have spinning and float in the game, and they did not specify whether bottom fishing would be coming in the future. Now the next question is how many species when the game will be released? And in the trailer, we can see eight species, four for spinning, four for float. The developers answered that there will be 26 fish species on release, Later, they intend on expanding the game and adding new fish species, map, and equipment. And there are some pictures of the Xander models from Pro Fishing available for our viewing pleasure. Now, the next question is how many players per map? 5, 10, 20? And the answer is probably 30 players per room, but it depends from server's performance. Naturally, that's probably why they're going to conduct the beta testing to see how well their servers can handle. 30 people per room. Moving on to the next question, which is, so for what I understand, the map is only one big open world, am I right? And the developer's response is that the maps are so large that they can be treated as open world locations. However, each country would be a separate map. Returning to their size, the developers would like to illustrate to us that the maps are so large that moving between different fishing grounds on the map requires the use of a transport, which I'm assuming is the ATV. Now, the next question is probably the most important question to a vast majority of players because it regards the free to play mechanics. So let's see what it is. Okay, we'll see the closed beta in two weeks or something like that, but some inputs on how the free to play mechanics work. Will there be some sort of premium pass? Will it work only for experience boost or will it give other advantages? Will real money purchases regard only cosmetics? Or, like some other games, will we see some other stupid things like restricted inventories, licenses, etc.? Do you all know what I'm referring to? Yes, I do believe we do, but let's hear what the developers have to say. And they say that it works like every other free-to-play fishing game. In Pro Fishing, you will be able to buy VIP, premium cash, or equipment sets, but... There will be no such thing like premium items. VIP players will get other benefits like lower prices, extra experience, extra money when selling fish, free transport usage, VIP fishery on map, or buying items without having required level. And they go on to display what I can only assume is the VIP fishery with a real nice looking cabin on the lake's waterfront. So moving on, what's the biggest fish slash monster fish in the game? And the developers respond, yes, we have some huge fish. One of them is a catfish whose weight exceeds 100 kilograms. Wow, that's a big fish. But we have to work with new method and animations to pull so huge fish from water. Due to this, for this moment, biggest fish that can be pulled out from water have 30 kilograms. That's still pretty large. That's about a 60 pound, maybe a little, uh, little more than 60 pound fish. The 100 kilogram catfish, though. Kind of eager to see how that works out. That is going to be a very large fish. So will we be able to see other players as whole body avatars? Now, I know, I know this was a concern with Russian Fishing 4 because you can't see the other players 
You can't see their character models in that game. No, that's a big concern. And we'll see what the developers of Pro Fishing have to say in regards to their game. And they have said that they have full 3D body models and animations and everything is rigged. I'm not quite sure what rigged means, but we have a picture below displaying the character models and what they look like. Now the next two questions are in reference to Ultimate Fishing Simulator, because although Ultimate Fishing Simulator and Pro Fishing are made by two different developers, they are both published by Ultimate Games. So let's move on to those questions. Will the owners of Ultimate Fishing Simulator have any kind of special treatment? I mean, having like an exclusive outfit, boat, etc. And there are no plans for that. Ultimate Fishing Simulator was made by a different developer. Next question is, are the fish biting fastly like an Ultimate Fishing Simulator or more rarely? And the answer to that is that it depends from many aspects like weather, time of day, bait type, depth. That mean you can catch really often crucian carps, but you will have to find catfish. Moving on to the final question, the one that I am personally the most concerned with, it was asked by our very own Ash, who is a member of Team JVD, and he went on to ask the developers, can we record or stream during the beta? And the answer is, yes, we can, and that they don't have a non-disclosure agreement during the beta test. Good news. So I'll be able to stream the game with the permission from the developers. And with that in mind, when does the beta go live? Well, according to the developers, they're going to start sending out the beta keys around October 5th, right around the corner. Real excited about getting, uh, getting a first look out to you guys in regards to Pro Fishing. Pro Fishing will be fully released on PC through Steam on November 30th, 2018. Now, one final question that I'd like to address was actually asked by a viewer of mine on one of my videos, and he went on to ask if Pro Fishing will be released to consoles too. A developer of Pro Fishing kindly answered, basically stating that if the game is successful on PC, then they will think about releasing it for console as well. Possible good news for you console players out there in regards to Pro Fishing. Now, that's all I've got for this video. Hope you found it informative. You guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you'd like to stay up to date on feature content, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world, and we will see you next time.